right now we're gonna go uh, ride the VSET 9 plus R dual motor maxed out in dual motor mode acceleration and braking so you might notice that my uh, my uh, road in front of my house has a very slight incline to it uh, because of that I do two acceleration tests in each direction all right so we're in the fastest i'll put the settings we are in down below and here we go this is our first acceleration test in three two one not bad not bad not bad so we got dual motors 27 amps output but we got 48 volts so we're a little limited as far as voltage goes and I can feel that a little bit not a slow scooter by any means but I can tell it's going to be a little slower three two one see if I can minimize I'm getting a lot of front wheel spin I'm just gonna try to minimize that a little bit here three two one Real nice and stable handling. I like the wide sweat back grips. Um, kind of enjoying the way this thing feels. Uh, that that e-brake setting's a little strong. Uh, also, I put inflated right to the uh, manufacturer's PSI rating of 45 before doing this. Fourth one, three, two, one. That's a pleasant feel to it. All right, so I'm gonna do braking. Hold at 15 miles per hour. We're gonna brake at the same location over there. So brakes are a little grabby, I guess. Um, sometimes I think with the smaller wheels, you notice that just not quite as much braking power. So I'm right at 16 feet for that first one. Again, I do four of each thing I'm doing and I average those. To me, that is by far the most accurate way should take into account or rule out really goofy artifacts. I'm trying not to lock things up too too much, but it, it can just with scooter tires, there's the small diameter. It's just a little bit difficult not to not to lock everything up. Pretty consistent number, 16 and a half that way. And even though these are mechanical disc brakes, the brake feels quite good. Thirteen point seven. So that's some variability in there. All right, that's our look at the V sets acceleration and braking. The nine plus R <clears throat> dual motors. All right, this is my first look here at that. This is my first time riding the V set nine R single six hundred and fifty watt motor in the rear. I've ridden the nine. Plus R, I did a range test on it, and just pushing it out here, I can feel the, the difference of the weight. It's only about four pounds when I measured it, but uh, actually maybe it was, I'll have to refer back to the weights. It was lighter and you really, you can even feel it just pushing it around. These two scooters are in the same settings. I will say that this display is quite difficult to read in direct sun. So one of the most interesting things about this VSET lineup is the single motor scooter has a higher voltage battery. Um, a little less capacity, but not a whole lot. And to me, it, it kind of feels like it's targeting two different demographics, or maybe like a family where you have a heavier rider 
typically be the adult male and then the uh, lighter female rider and then you know just the two uh, would kind of be able to work with the same sc looking scooter you know have some similarities in performance and range uh, just because of the different battery options all right acceleration on the vset 9 r single motor three two one Oh wow. All right, so from a, I don't know what's making noise up there. I checked everything for tightness. Must be the fender. Three, two, one. So I went through and these all have the same settings right now. There's a little bit of a, a strange rattling noise on the front of this one. Acceleration number three. Three, two, one. Of course, you know, with the dual motors, I was mostly spinning the front wheel uh, on the single motor version noticeably slower takeoff can't find where that noise is coming from number four three two one so one of the neatest things to me with the, this v-set model is that you're gonna you're getting like all the suspension and those kind of features without the dual motors you usually don't get that option you, it's kind of all or nothing um, I, and I think that's nice to have. The scooter just feels a little lighter. Um, I expect the braking not to be drastically different here. 12.4. I am going by the speed on the display, which can be a little inaccurate at times. Um, hopefully this is not too bad. Okay, we're holding steady 15. That's a, we got a good one here. Oh, wow. Hey, it's Jim. I hope this look at how I collected the data for the two models of the VSET 9 are helps you out. Real interesting option with the different batteries and different motor combinations. I collect this data in the same way every time, so I'm very consistent on the way I do it. None of these are absolute values. They're not zero to 60 times for cars or anything like that. As I think everybody knows at this point, there's a lot of variables with electric vehicles, including my weight, the weather. There's a lot of things that vary, but I do it very consistently so that I can have comparable values so hopefully you saw some of those comparisons to other scooters and i'm going to be doing the full review on this real soon should be dropping next week if you have any questions about what you saw today or anything really leave them down below i do my best to reply to every comment and please like and subscribe and i'll be back with you again soon with these same scooters catch the wave feel